Hello again everybody. It's been almost four months since my last video. I've been dealing with a lot of personal family matters, moving my parents from Florida to Colorado, renovating a house for them, and that's taken up all of my time, so I apologize. In this video, I'll be announcing the winners of the deck giveaway from my last video back in September. Plus, there'll be another prize giveaway, an announcement about my website at the end of the video, and today I'm going to show you my favorite card trick and tutorial. This card trick I did back in 2010, it's on my other YouTube channel, Card Trick Teacher, so it's not even on this channel. It's a quick, impromptu card trick that always gets great reactions. So let me show you the card trick, and then I'll show you how it's done. Okay, you can take a deck of cards, whether it's a borrowed deck or your deck, shuffle the cards, and have the spectator select any card they like. So let's say they select this card right over here. Have them look at the card. The card is the Seven of Clubs. Have them place the card back in the deck, and... Give the cards a couple of cuts, and we'll give the cards a couple of shuffles. So their card is the Seven of Clubs. Now we're going to give the cards what's called a sloppy shuffle. So we're going to flip up cards face up into face down, and just mix them all up. Face up cards, face down cards, all the way through. Now we have the deck completely messed up. We have cards that are back to face, we have cards that are face to back, and we have cards that are back to back. But all I have to do now is just snap my fingers and the entire deck is now face down except one card, your card, the seven of clubs. I love this one because it's quick, it's powerful, you can do it anytime, any place, there's no setup required and it's probably the first card trick I show when somebody wants to see a trick. What you're going to do is take the deck and give it a little bend forward. Actually that is a little bit of preparation, but that's it. You'll see why in a little while. You can shuffle the cards and have a spectator select any card they like. So let's say the spectator chooses this card right over here, the Ten of Spades. You're now going to break off about two-thirds or three-quarters of the cards and have them place the card right on top of the bottom quarter or bottom third of the deck. So they're remembering the Ten of Spades. You're now going to set the rest of the cards on top, but as you do, you're going to put your pinky down and catch a pinky break. So the spectator doesn't see this from the front, from behind, your pinky is holding a break right there, and now you're going to control their card to the top by cutting one, two, three, and the fourth packet has their card, so now their card, the Ten of Spades, is on top of the deck. Now, you're going to hold the cards in the middle grip on the side, and you're going to peel the cards off into your dominant hand, so you're going to control it to the bottom now. So you're going to take one, and that's the Ten of Spades, two, and you could start letting the cards come off in little groups, clumps one at a time or a few at a time and just peel the cards off and now the card is on the bottom. Now you're going to keep it on the bottom so you can hold it on the bottom and peel off some cards from the top and the card from the bottom at the same time. So you can keep doing this and you can shuffle a couple of times like this as long as you keep their card on the bottom. Now you're going to hold the cards. I'm left-handed so I'm going to hold the cards in my right hand and you're going to push off the cards three at a time, four at a time, five at a time, and you're gonna flip them over with your dominant hand. And keep pushing them off and flipping. And you say we're gonna do a sloppy shuffle. So I'm just flipping them over, pushing them off, and flipping them over. When you get down to the very bottom card, that's the card that's gonna go on top. So you get down to one card, and when you get down to the bottom card, you flip it over and set that on top. So now it looks like the cards are all mixed up, but what you actually have is their card on top, followed by a bunch of face-up cards, followed by a bunch of face down cards. So now when I let go, you can see that the deck actually separates. That's why I bent the cards forward in the beginning. So what you wanna do is you wanna hold the deck together, take a portion off the top saying, some of the cards are back to face. Then you go to the bottom portion of the deck and say, and some of the cards are face to back. Then you go right to that break. You just push and separate. It'll naturally separate with a little push right there and saying some of the cards are back to back. And instead of putting the cards back like this, you flip the top portion over and set it like this. And what that does is it sets their card as the only card that's face up. So now the spectator thinks that all the cards are mixed up, face up, face down, and all you have to do now is say, and for the first time, name your card. And when they say the Ten of Spades, you spread the cards out and show that their card is the only card in the deck. That's face up. 
Here are the winners of the signed decks for my final three card trick video back in September. Winning a blue signed bicycle deck is Owen Mull. Winning an orange signed bicycle deck is Yoshiman911. Winning a black deck is Dragon MTG. Winning a turquoise deck is Moosey. Winning a brown signed bicycle deck is Cullen Lynch. Winning the purple signed deck is Gaming Pro Shot ZZZ. Winning the Fuchsia sign deck is Paige Bauer. And winning the green sign bicycle deck goes to Barry Brad 117 Here are the prizes for this video's giveaway. First, I want to let you guys know that I'm back. I'll be uploading a new video next week with the results from this video. I'm going to be giving away 10 decks of bicycle playing cards all signed. Two turquoise, a green, a black, a fuchsia, an orange, a purple, a blue, a brown, and a red deck. All you have to do is leave a comment below, like the video, and please check out my website, thecardtrickteacher.com. I have a new format where you need to register. This will allow you to comment and favorite videos. So the website is now more interactive. Please check it out. I'm going to be selecting five winners from the website, five winners from comments below, and I'll be announcing the winners in my next video next week. Good luck to everybody. That's it. I'll see you next time.